Here's a video to help you get started with your ETX90. So first thing you can do is make sure you have batteries in it, or I'm using an external power supply. You want to get the telescope level. There is a little bubble level here on this leg, and that looks like it's pretty level. Otherwise, you can just adjust the legs by moving them up and down. Then you want to put the telescope in the home position. There's a little lever here. The silver lever to the right, push that way, is unlocked so you can rotate this. So rotate the base counterclockwise until it hits the hard stop. So it hits the stop, don't want to turn it too hard or break anything, just hits the stop. Then you want to turn it back so that, turn this around so you can see it. So you get the hard stop over here, counterclockwise. Turn it back so this arm is centered above what we call the control panel, which has your power switch and everything. And then once that's centered for the most part over there, move that lever to the left to lock this. You don't have to make it super snug, just make it snug enough so this doesn't rotate. Then you want to put your tube level in the horizontal position. Again, you do that with knob on the side on the right side loosen it you can move it around and again you just get it kind of snug remember these things have a lot of plastic parts in them so don't over tighten anything or you could break something all right then we can take off the cover the unscrews something to be careful of with these metal covers is make sure you're unscrewing it carefully and pull it away don't let it slide and scratch the front of your lens same way when you're putting it on make sure you're getting the threads set before you kind of let go of it because if you accidentally drop it and scratch the lens that would not be good okay so the telescope is level we've got this centered above the fork arm over here next you want to point one leg has the letter n on it down here on top that's the north leg so you get that pointed north you can use like your phone compass if you want i just know that that's pretty much north that direction my bubble level still shows that we are level, and we're ready to go. All right, so we'll turn the power on. It will beep, and it will give you a welcome, and then it's going to enter the date, say 21st. If it was not the 21st, you just can use the number keys to enter the date. Time, uh, I'm not sure what we are. Let's just say it's... Let's say it's 7 a.m., 07 o'clock. Move over this way, change the p.m. using these up and down keys to a.m. Hit enter. Daylight savings, yes, we are still on that. And then it tells you how you can align it. Easy, um, there's an easy, one star, two star. So I'll just give you an example of what the easy alignment is. Hit enter, it says to put it in the home position. Again, that's gonna ask you to make sure it's level and this is centered and above the arm over there so that's the home position we say enter it's going to select a star while it's doing that i did make a little slide out dew shield slide that out before you get going just a little foam dew shield to help keep the do off the front lens. <clears throat> so it's going to serious right now. And it should be close where you would then look through your Find your scope first, because that's pretty wide field. So you'd look through there, get it centered, then look through your eyepiece, get it centered, and press enter. And it's gonna select a second star. Going to Capella. One thing I always do when it's going up high like that, in case for some reason there was an error in the motors or something and it kept going up, you don't want it to keep going up and hitting a stop and messing up the gears. So have your finger over here near the off switch. If for some reason it kept going up too high, 
uh, past where it should be, just power it off and start over again. Doesn't happen very often, but it could happen. All right, so this is going to Capella. And we're just gonna, again, you would look through there, center it, get it centered, hit enter. And it says align successful. Now from here, you can just go to an object, enter, solar system, moon is still around somewhere. It's probably behind the trees for me right now, but scroll down with these keys down here till you find what you want. Enter moon, calculates where it's at. You say go to. It's either behind the trees or behind some clouds right now. big cloud bank right there right now so again it should be near the moon with your finder you'd have to make some adjustments and then you'd be okay now a little trick is let's say it was off a bit and you had to and it isn't always perfect but if it's off a bit and you need to recenter on the moon I wish that cloud would go away so I could see it anyway let's say you had to move it a little bit and get it centered on the moon okay now it's centered on the moon Resync it to the moon. You hold the enter key down for a few seconds, then let go, and it says moon enter to sync. Hit enter again. Now it's synced on the moon. All right. Uh, another thing is if you ever change your batteries, um, put in a new power source. Something that you want to do is mode always goes back to the main menu. So go back to mode. Look for setup and scroll down to find telescope and then you go down to calibrate motors a lot of things in the menu calibrate motor what that does it tests the motor up down left right it calibrates it to your power source so if you put in new batteries or bought a new battery pack that would make it would calibrate the motors for you now do that when you first turn the telescope on because that will mess up your alignment since it moves it around a little bit. Um, other thing you can do is, again, in that same setup, go back to telescope. There's another thing called train drive, something you can do as well. In train drive, you did enter um, and that gives you the azimuth RA train drive, which is the left right scroll down with the arrow here And it says alt deck train drive, which is the up down what that's going to do is um, During the day you look at a distant object um, you know, As far away as you can and it's going to like move left and right and then it's going to move up and down and have you move certain keys that helps to just train the drives so that it knows um, how far to move the drives to go a certain distance all right, the delay did not help because there's even thicker clouds now. But anyway, that's kind of some basic things. When you're done for the night, just turn it off. Power switch off. I like to just kind of have the tube down a little bit. I unlock this just so it's everything's kind of loose. Pull back your dew shield. If you happen to have moisture on your telescope, you can bring it inside and let it dry out. Otherwise, again, carefully put that cap back on, screw it on, and you can just carry the whole thing in at once and go inside.